you guys for all the support and for watching my videos. If you want to get the most out of my channel, here are a few quick tips for you to be able to get the most and learn as quickly as possible. So first up, we have our Mike's Brush uh, name here. You could click on this and it takes you directly to my channel. You'll have access to all my videos. You'll have a backlog of you know over a hundred videos that you could go through, watch, and learn that way. There's a very helpful how to airbrush series in there. Um, that I would recommend. A lot of people ask uh, what stuff I use. Uh, clicking on that description button will open up this that shows the links to a lot of the most commonly asked questions. Uh, using these links helps the channel bring you more videos, better quality videos. Um, as always, I would recommend you stay subscribed uh, to keep up to date on the latest videos. And if you really, really enjoy the videos, you can consider joining. Uh, so you get these cool emojis in the chat, um, as well as access to some other features. Clicking that join button will explain everything for you. And yeah, like I said, you can click here. It takes you over to my channel. You can see a backlog of all our videos. Click on this videos tab. It shows you all, you know, everything, all the videos from the past. Um, I highly recommend it. Like I said, there's a How to Airburst series up in there. And in the community tab is how I keep track or keep in touch with uh, most of the members, let everybody know what's kind of happening, what's going to go on, and yeah. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching, we could get back to the video, good luck to y'all. And... Alright, what's up everybody, bienvenidos, welcome, welcome. So here, here's today's image, it's a skull and a banner. And if you go down in the description, you'll find a link that'll let you download the image for free so that if you want to do this exercise at home on your own time, that's that's what this video is for. It's a completely free video. As you can see during the intro, there's a way to help the channel if you want to like seeing videos like this. Uh, it's not necessary, but even just being subscribed helps the channel out. But uh, yeah, so bienvenidos amigos. Uh, aquí les traigo otro video, aquí está otro diseño de hoy y como los videos de antes, este diseño es gratis y tenemos un link en la descripción para este diseño si ustedes lo quieren bajar y lo quieren usar en su casa para eso es este video ustedes los pueden seguir y en su propia casa ustedes pueden hacer un diseño muy suave so, lo he recortado, lo he pintado aquí, lo he dibujado y lo, lo he recortado con una navaja fina ¿verdad? So, una navaja así, le he recortado. So, I've taken the drawing, I've put it on paper, I've cut it out, I've cut out all the lines, and we're just going to go ahead and this outer edge, we're just going to move that aside. So, nomás vamos a tomar nuestra parte exterior y lo vamos a mover a un lado. Uh, y por hoy, vamos a trabajar solo con un color. So, today we're just going to be working with one single color, and that's going to be black. So, el color que vamos a estar tra trabajando hoy va a ser negro uh, pero lo vamos a reducir para que ustedes puedan hacer sombreados y efectos muy suaves usando solo un color so, aquí les voy a enseñar so, aquí vamos a usar el Aiwara Revolution HPCR aerógrafo so we're using the Aiwara Revolution HPCR airbrush today if it would focus, there you go. Ese es el aerógrafo que vamos a estar usando. Uh, and yeah, we're going to be airbrushing with just opaque, opaque black from Createx. This is what we're using. And we're going to be using 4012 reducer for Createx. So este es el reducidor que vamos a estar usando. Uh, y la pintura que vamos a estar usando ahí. So, aquí voy a empezar por echarle reducidor al, air, al aerógrafo. So, I'm just going to start off by pouring reducer into my airbrush. And I'm going to fill it a little bit less than half. Como un poco medio de la mitad. Un poco menos de la mitad, ¿verdad? So, I'm just going to give this black a good shake. Y nomás voy a tomar el negro aquí, le voy a dar 
revuelto muy bien y le voy a dar un chorrito de negro, so, tanto así so I'm just going to throw a little bit of black in there, not a whole whole lot then I'm going to cover this up and then I'm going to start shaking so vamos a cubrir y le vamos a empezar a revolver a menear, menear, menear so we're going to shake it up for a good minute and Gugus Costa uh, Portugal, saludos, saludos uh, so thank you everybody for watching if you're in the chat live make sure you say hi I'll shout out your name who knows we can even have a conversation so si están en vivo viendo hay gracias por ver primeramente pero si están viendo en vivo también dejen un comentario allí en el chat que también estoy viendo so ahí yo les yo les digo que que qué onda si tienen preguntas so aquí vamos a empezar con el negro ¿verdad? ya lo hemos revol revuelto Le vamos a dar un spray para que estemos seguros que está saliendo la pintura. So I'm just spraying it out to make sure the paint's coming out. And then I'm just going to go around the whole outer edge with the with the black here. Just a nice soft line. All the way around. So la maleta ya no sabe con un sombreado todo alrededor de nuestra plantilla. Oh, and there goes that piece. It's all right. We don't need that anymore. Oh, and for those wondering how I got the paper to stick, um, I used Permatex uh, spray adhesive. Uh, this stuff works pretty good. If you go down, look down in the links. Uh, there's also a link to the Super 77. That stuff works really good. What was that? Can you go check? Para los que, los que están preguntando uh, cómo pegué el papel al, al, al lienzo aquí, uh, es usando este adhesivo en aerosol. Uh, este es aquí el que usé hoy. Pero si miran abajo en los links, donde está el link parece, también hay un link para un aerosol. Uh, so ya le hemos dado un sombreado a tu alrededor. Ya que esta parte está quitada, so since this part fell off, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to hit that edge. Just kind of going out. You see those lines? So I'm going to turn with the lines open. Simple. Just simple. And we might as well do the other side. So, ya que ese lado ya está hecho, le vamos a hacer lo mismo al otro lado. Quitamos esa parte de ahí. Igual, las mismas sombreadas. What's up, Air Todd? Jose Cordona, what's up? Air Todd, you tried to do Sonic. I, I'd like to see it. Um, you see, ya que ya que quitamos esos, ya podemos quitar esos, hacerlos a un lado. So we could just take those pieces and move them off to the side. Uh, as you can see, there's this little piece in between the teeth right here. I have already taken that off, and I'm just gonna go ahead and hit with that nice shadow right in there, nice and dark. Uh, I'm also gonna hit the edge of the eyes. I'm going to hit that bottom edge lightly, and then I'm going to go over the top edge kind of dark. So, les voy a dar los ojos, y le voy a dar, sobre la parte de arriba, le voy a dar oscuramente, y sobre la parte de abajo, nomás ligeramente, ¿verdad? Y ya lo combinamos. Igual al otro lado, y aquí la parte de nariz, igual, oscuro hacia los lados, y ligeramente hacia el medio. Y más así a los lados, oscuro, una pasada aquí, paz, ya está, ¿verdad? Y ya de aquí empezamos y quitamos la parte de esta aquí de la mandíbula. So we're taking this part off the jaw here, right? That's the next part of this back piece. And we could just go ahead and hit it from this inner edge going out. So like this. Maybe hit that top edge just lightly. So de la, de la parte de hacia adentro hacia afuera. Y luego un poco de sombreado a la parte de arriba. So, de la parte de adentro hacia afuera. Y luego un poco a la orilla de arriba. ¿Verdad? Boom. Y luego quitamos esta parte de aquí. Dejamos la parte de los dientes. Right, so we leave the teeth on, 
and we take that bottom piece off there. Same thing, we're going to come off the banner going in. So vamos a dar eso la parte del del aquí del se me olvida el nombre como se dice. Uh, pero de esta parte de aquí vamos a salir para adentro. Así. So we're just going to come in off that banner. Same thing on the other side. La misma cosa del otro lado. Now here on the teeth, right? You have options. If you're good at freehand, if you're good at getting in close, you can just hit all those little edges, right? So son buenos en sacar líneas finas. Pueden nomás darle en esas orillitas entre los dientes. Si no son muy buenos, nomás denle a toda la orilla, ¿verdad? Igual va a estar muy bien. So then we're just going to shadow in our chin. Right? Just throw a little shadow. So nomás le damos un sombreado así a la parte de enfrente de la mandíbula. Igual, nomás sacamos nuestra sombreada hacia adentro. Ya podemos quitar esta parte de los dientes. So we can take off our teeth. Right? Bam. And then we're going to just come in and the shadow off of this edge here. So, so igual, sombreada hacia adentro. Y lo aquí, ya si tienen sus plantillas, sus curvas. So here, if you have your curves right, you can come in. And you could outline your teeth with some curves. Pueden right. usar sus curvas para hacer las líneas de los dientes. Si se creen muy buenos a manos fina, uh, pueden hacerlos a manos libre también. So if you're good at freehand, you could also just freehand those lines in. And it's up to you how you feel more comfortable. You know, either way works. So the, the, las dos maneras sirve. Ahí con ustedes se sientan a gusto. Si son buenos a mano libre, pueden darle a mano libre. Si no, pues denle con la, con la plantilla. Ya de aquí, podemos quitar esta parte de afuera de aquí. So we could take this piece off, this piece off, and we could take this piece off, and this piece off. Si podemos quitar todas esas cuatro partes. Right, we could take all these off. Felipe Sarmiento, saludos, saludos. On Paylon, yeah, that's a good, good practice on Paylon. So same thing, we're going to come back in with our lines coming off the igual, nuestros sombreados saliendo de, de la parte central. La damos a esta orilla finamente. So just hit this edge nice and good. Come in with some little lines. Same thing on the other side, hit that edge. Come in. And then you can just come off the edge there. Bam. Same thing here. Now here on this top edge, we don't really want to go all the way up. We want to kind of stop, you know, give yourself maybe a centimeter or something off of the top there. So aquí en esta orilla le vamos a dar sombreado, pero no queremos llegar hasta la parte de arriba. Le queremos dejar un poco de, de espacio ahí. So nomás le vamos a dar así. Ya ves. We we'll kind of fade it off towards the edge there, right? So ahí tiene el sombreado para en la parte de arriba. Y también dele una sombreada así al redondo. So give, give the outside edge a shadow there. Right, give it like a nice little round, round effect there. Bam, you got that. Now we could take our main piece of banner here. Ya podemos quitar esta parte central. ¿Verdad? Y le podemos dar un poco de línea. So I'm just going to hit some lines going across. Líneas de lado a lado. Yeah. Hit the edge of those teeth all the way around. Salen la orilla los los dientes. Aquí también, si tienen su curva, right? So here, if you have your curve, you see these edges of this banner here. Right? So I just straight up just took them off. So I'm just gonna come back in with my stencil here. Use my curve set and just finish that off. All right, and that gives us that banner effect. Same thing here. Bam. Verdad? So nomás le estoy dando el efecto de que está doblada ahí la tela.
simple. Hit this edge and underneath. So we're going to start this area. And we're going to take a little bit of lines sombrada. Alright, so we're just going to shadow these in. They're not hard lines, just kind of nice little soft tones coming in from the sides. Bam. Now we can take off our main section. Ya podemos quitar la parte central, leaving the teeth behind, right? So we're going to leave the teeth, but we're going to take off the main part of the skull. So ya quitamos la parte central, dejamos los dientes. Bam. Uh, Stephen Ward, what's up? How's it going? Uh, GM Vizcarra, saludos. Enrique, saludos. Uh, no, so the way you avoid getting adhesive on the canvas is actually like letting that adhesive like dry for like a good 10, 15 seconds, maybe 20 seconds. And it'll actually get kind of gummy instead of kind of being like wet. So that's kind of how you avoid tr transferring it onto stuff. Uh, so, de aquí le voy a dar sombreada los dientes, ¿verdad? Saliendo hasta arriba, so, entre las... The lineas así, le voy a dar para arriba. So I'm just going to shade in, right in off those cracks of those teeth. I'm just going to bring in a little shadow. Makes it quick and easy. Right? If you're not good at freehand, you can also just hit the edge of those whole teeth. Right? You got to start somewhere. So then we're just going to come in and again add in our roundness like this. And maybe bring in a little bit of a shadow here on the, on the cheekbones here. Again, you can detail your skull however you want. This is just a quick little exercise. If you're beginning and you want to produce some cool designs without, you know, getting too frustrated, this is one of those foolproof methods of, of uh, producing something. I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Just bringing back the series, the How to Airbrush series uh, for everybody. Thanks to, uh, you know, the members like Air Todd over there. Um... It really helps out. So uh, again, I'm just gonna finish shadowing in. So le voy a dar sombreado aquí a los a los ojos así, un poco enojado. Aquí también igual entrando de la nariz. So I'm just gonna shadow in the brow and then shadow in the nose right here. You see that? And get this build up with little strokes, and then I'm gonna just build in the shadow of the forehead here. Same thing on the other side. So ya le mal le damos el sombreado a la cabeza, a la parte de la cabeza. Y ya de aquí ya nomás quitamos los dientes. So from here, all we have left is these teeth. Same. Same story, right? You could use your, your French curve set if you want to, uh, you know, if you're not too good with your freehand skills. Or if you are confident, you could just come in and you can just shade them in. Get those lines in there. And from here, then you can just start adding your own little details, your own little stuff. You know, maybe add some lettering on the banner there. Add a background, you know, maybe add some texture on the skull. Right? You can just start spending time just kind of adding stuff in. Maybe there's a crack coming here. Ay, ya de ahí, ya cuando acaben esas partes, ya de ahí nomás es de empezar a agregarle detalle a su calaca, pues. Y ahí ustedes se pueden agregar horas y horas, you know, haciendo partes donde se está quebrando la calavera, donde tiene textura, pues, los huesos. Y, you see? Ya ahí ustedes pueden usar su imaginación. A qué le van a agregar la parte exterior, si le quieren agregar humo, llamas. Y así, pero ya ahí ustedes se dan una idea cómo se el diseño muy simple y fácilmente. Ah, sin, sin, pues sin tanto esfuerzo, pues. So there you guys go. There you guys could, you know, go ahead and detail it out from there. But that's a quick and easy way to get a nice skull and banner design and I mean you can see we didn't take too long to actually airbrush that 
but from here you could you know like I said you could start adding details cracks you know you add, throw a name on the banner you know add a background and use your imagination uh, as always guys thanks for watching I uh, hope this video helps all you guys out uh, I'd like to thank all the members uh, for being members of part of the skull squad uh, you know Thank you guys all for supporting the channel. Thank you guys for subscribing. As always, you know, thank you guys for all the support. Practice, practice, practice. Good luck to all of you. Until you try to follow lines. Yeah, following lines can be tough sometimes. I, I don't even know, man. It's just practice, I guess. Practice. More practice. <laughs> practice upon practice. But uh, yeah, there I got... Uh, I think I got through today's video pretty quick. But anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching. Gracias todos por ver. Uh, nos vemos en el video que sigue. Ahí ustedes ya le pueden agregar sus detalles, sus diseños, lo que le quieran hacer. Uh, pero ya ahí ustedes ya se pueden dar una buena idea de cómo hacer el diseño. Pero nos vemos en el video que sigue. Al rato. Uh, yeah. Bye. Yo, what's up, guys? Thank you guys for all the support and for watching my videos. If you want to get the most out of my channel, here are a few quick tips for you to be able to get the most and learn as quickly as possible. So first up, we have our Mike's Brush uh, name here. You could click on this and it takes you directly to my channel. You'll have access to all my videos. You'll have a backlog of you know over a hundred videos that you could go through, watch, and learn that way. There's a very helpful how to airbrush series in there. Um, that I would recommend. A lot of people ask uh, what stuff I use. Uh, clicking on that description button will open up this that shows the links to a lot of the most commonly asked questions. Uh, using these links helps the channel bring you more videos, better quality videos. Um, as always, I would recommend you stay subscribed uh, to keep up to date on the latest videos. And if you really, really enjoy the videos, you can consider joining. Uh, so you get these cool emojis in the chat, um, as well as access to some other features. Clicking that join button will explain everything for you. And yeah, like I said, you can click here. It takes you over to my channel. You can see a backlog of all our videos. Click on this videos tab. It shows you all, you know, everything, all the videos from the past. Um, I highly recommend it. Like I said, there's a hot airburst series up in there. And in the community tab is how I keep track or keep in touch with uh, most of the members, let everybody know what's kind of happening, what's going to go on, and yeah. Anyway guys, thank you guys for watching. We could get back to the video. Good luck to y'all.